Here's what the FDA decision to remove the black box warning off of menopause hormone therapy means and means for the link with body composition, body fat, and changes in weight after menopause. So first of all, let me show you what a black box warning looks like. It is quite literally in a black box. This is off the prescribing information that comes from my personal HRT that I take. And what this has been saying since 2003 is that any drug in this class of hormone replacement therapy or menopause hormone therapy comes with an associated risk of cardiovascular disorders, increased risk of breast and endometrial cancer, and probable dementia. Now, why is the FDA finally acting to remove that black box warning, which will take place over the next six months? Because the preponderance of available peer-reviewed data clearly shows that this is not the case and that in the vast majority of women going through menopause, particularly those under the age of 60, the benefits clearly outweigh the risks. And that is not just as a good treatment for vasomotor symptoms, but it is for cognitive protection, musculoskeletal protection, quality of life, even cardiovascular health and well-being, and in some cases has been associated with a reduction in the risk of certain types of cancers like colorectal cancer. How does this affect body composition? There has been published data out for over 20 years that shows a positive link and observation association between women taking menopause hormone therapy and less weight gain after menopause, less body fat percentage, and a more favorable body composition. So this is good news for women all around who now have another option that hopefully their healthcare providers will be current in the knowledge and data and able to have an individualized risk benefit discussion with them on. At the end of the day, it comes down to four questions. What are the risks of taking a drug? What are the risks of not taking a drug? What are the benefits of taking that drug? And what are the benefits of not taking the drug? And then of course, any options that are available. It is clear now that the flawed WHI data that was published and erroneously reported in 2002 was based on an older population of women who were at baseline at higher risk for all of these endpoints than the typical woman who seeks MHT or menopause hormone therapy. So say goodbye to the black box warning. It's a good day for women's health.